Hey everyone, it is the LFC Draft, we are back, uh, we've done a full series of this in the past but it's been a good old while, uh, the rules are pretty simple, it is draft format, uh, this time around it is Klopp sold or released players from Liverpool Football Club, uh, one of the guys, Steve or Chris is going to go first, followed by the other and they've got a list, a body of players to pick from to put the best possible 11s together and then you're going to get a chance to vote to decide which is the best team so there is an element of skill there is an element of chance and there is ultimately the gigantic popularity contest that yes. follows um yeah that's basically the long and short of it we'll put the list in the uh, in the comments underneath or in the description so you can play along at home if you really want to first and foremost first top line thoughts on the list of players top heavy because Liverpool don't well under Klopp haven't really lost too many superstar players. That's my that was my thought. Is that I think this summer helped. If yeah. it wasn't for this summer, it'd have been a, a, a much harder game. I think like this summer losing four or five helped. But yeah, it's a it's a top heavy list. There's a lot of shit players that have left Liverpool that Jürgen sh shipped off as soon as he got here. Really. Yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be really difficult for ever go second. To be honest with you, I think there are some clear tiers in terms of players um like the goalkeepers is just like whoever gets the top goalkeeper might just win it and nothing else might matter the problem is and we'll come to this of course in due course is that there is there is a standout best goalkeeper um i don't think it's who you think it is by the way but the we well, were always a carriage fan Paul. It's not. It's definitely not a lot of carries. <laughs> it's definitely not a lot of carries. Um, but I'm not sure he's such a stellar name that it makes a huge difference. But we'll have to see. I think we're talking about the same guy, and I think it m makes a massive difference to everybody else on that list. Okay. Now you asked the question. We haven't decided. We're going to do this live because we're stupid. Um, who? How are we going to decide who goes first? Normally, you have done something that you you feel means that you should normally Chris has done something that makes him feel like he should go first if you catch this in your mouth you get to go first <laughs> okay it's yeah. gone look you're, you're first that is, it means that would be on the head <laughs> I, I can't help but feel he shouldn't have been the thrower for that because I, I clearly didn't aim for my mouth there was also a point prior to filming with Chris's pen now gone where Chris said I've got a little handy pen holder here but if I lose my pen can you remind me that my pen's right in front of me so Chris can I just say a pen. don't get on the pen please I, I can't believe I agree to that I know <laughs> it's <laughs> in the end of a pen and I've lost yeah. so not only did I lose oh yeah it's fine you go first Chris it's, it's all good okay cool so thanks Joe um, well then Joe it's down there somewhere I think there we go look there at we that. go if you catch this in your mouth Chris you get to keep it <laughs> <laughs> super uh, I'm going to hard cut that <laughs> keep it all in <laughs> absolutely not get rid of it for the podcast version I'm just playing um, over the couch <laughs> let's not keep that in <laughs> see we've got to keep it for covers if you want if you want to see Steve's no, ass podcast that, listeners check the video version of this out um, absolutely not yeah right sounds is that we... it we're genuinely going to go with listen, that listen if Steve's happy with that absolute shit show of a way of determining who goes first that's fine yeah that's good wow that's I think no, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable with that I'd rather go with like a rock something. paper scissors yeah, I think so I, okay. it feels like that's not fair are you ready yeah rock paper scissors go me Steve with the scissors Chris with the paper Steve would you like to go first or second <laughs> Uh, I'd like not to get hit with a pen. Can I throw a pen at Chris? It's fine. Um, I will go first, please. Absolutely. No! Oh, why okay. did I, I have the first pick? <laughs> why did I give it away? Uh, for morals as well, Chris. Oh, God. Steve, who's your first pick? I think he's the, not so much the stand. Well, it's pretty easy, I thought, to pick Sadio Mane first. Yep. The best player. Yep. Um, on the list by far. And the, the, the thing with Sadio as well is that he gives you so much versatility when I'm doing a team later, formation wise. He allows you to do anything because you can play about four or five different roles, and I'd be comfortable with him. So, yeah. whoever, yeah, I think whoever was going to would have won that was always going to pick Sadio. Number one draft pick for me, and yeah, the best, the best, best player in his position, and best player in the whole list. Yeah, um, how do you react to that? Chris? I, I am gutted for a start. Um, I thought Steve might have gone with Lazar Markovic <laughs> um, with his first pick. So that's all my. Research gone already after the first pick because I really had planned for him to pick Markovic first and then me to steal in there and get Sadio Mane. Right, there's a there's a couple of school of thoughts here. 
I actually, I'm not going to pick who I deem the best sort of next player on the list. I'm going to pick a defensive pick straight away. Okay. And I'm going to pick Bobby Firmino. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Let me, uh, we'll, uh, we'll explain in the fullness of time. Maybe okay, cool. after the first top three picks or something. Okay. I mean, that didn't fit with anything you just said, but carry on. He I, was the next best player on the list. Okay, well, we'll talk about that once <laughs> I the disagree. other players have, have come around. Um, maybe after the first three picks, we can revisit that. Okay. So mine is fully to make sure that he doesn't have Mane and Firmino. Yeah. If he has Mane and Firmino, it doesn't matter what I do. I cannot win if he's got two of the front three players the Liverpool fans adore. I think that's a really smart... Yeah, okay, that's really, really smart. Right, okay, Steve, pick number two. Fabinho. Yeah, he was was draft pick number two for me. Um, No, I I thought this is exactly... Whoever was what order, I thought they were going to be the top three. Um, Because you couldn't let... You couldn't have let me get Firmino because I would have won. But Fabinho... Listen, there's a couple of other DMs on there who are fine, but I think he, at his best, world class. Not, I don't think there's too many on that list who you can say that about. There's a popularity contest pick that comes in at some point, or perhaps the second best DM might not be getting the votes that he would have done, let's say, six weeks ago. Yeah, maybe. Um, I, I, and also, like I say, I was looking for that list the other day, and I, I put a little star next to the lads who I thought were genuinely like world class or, or up there, and I, I've got... Well, I think three of them have been picked. There weren't too many more. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Fab was like a was an easy one for me. Chris, yeah, uh, a good pick. I think the right pick as well for him, um, which leads me to go with Daniel Sturridge next. Ooh, um, Daniel Sturridge is a good shout. I like that one. I need to get some goals in my side at this point. Yeah, it um, also means I'm struggling for a centre forward. Are you though? Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, sadly, I might end up playing like well. Okay. We wow. Move. Really? Well, we'll move. Okay. Let's, let's, no, no, no. Let's, I mean, you've, you, I think your point about the list being top heavy is an interesting one. I think there's, <coughs> I think there's a lot, there's a lot of, there's a lot of goal scoring options in that, in that uh, list of attacking players. Okay, sounds so Mane, Firmino, Fabinho, and Sturridge, or as my autocorrect says, Sturridge, um has gone already. I've sent, a, I've sent a lot of tweets out with that. In. <laughs> yeah. Steve, pick number three. I. I'm struggling because I think I know who I want, but I'm not sure he'll win the, the popularity vote. It's Alberto Moreno. I'm going to pick Phil Coutinho. Nice. And again, it gives me that fluidity of position. I hope, hope people remember the Phil Coutinho as the Phil Coutinho, not what we've just seen in the last couple of years. But Not the one that we're probably going to be slaughtering on the Biased Football Podcast. Probably yeah. not him, but yeah. it, hopefully people remember. Like I actually think his best time for Liverpool was the just before he left. That, you know, when he come back from that fake back injury and that, that first start of the season when he was electric. So Mane, Fabinho, Coutinho, I'm quite happy with those three. I think, I, I said when we were discussing this that the, you were saying like the first pick might win it and, and blah, blah, blah. The second and third picks were going to be vital to this. Chris having gone second, I think we're going to get the clearest picture about how strong you've reacted to this with this pick. Yeah, um, Listen, I just want to win. So there's no like morals in the, in this Apart regard now. You chose not to go first because of your morals. Yeah, well, that's it. Like, you know what I mean? You've got to have morals when we're competing. But when it comes to football, right. Jordan Henderson's a, a better player at his best than Phil Coutinho and a better player what? at his best <gasps> than Fabinho. No. And therefore, Jordan Henderson is going in there. Wow. Um, and he's that's early, I think. Well, fair enough. That is, a, that is an early shout for Jordan Henderson. I'm interested to see what I did with this one. Let me just, I'm just going to consult my my little simulated draft myself. So my first, so my, uh, my name Fabinho, Coutinho, Firmino. Oh, wow. I, yeah. Four of the six players gone so far when in my first three simulated draft picks. I'll be honest, I went defenders earlier than either of you have gone defenders on this one, which is, um, that's going to be hell. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a gold rush. Um, okay, so sounds. So Steve, Mane, Fabinho, Coutinho so far. Chris Firmino, Sturridge, Henderson. I think there's a nice balance. I think you've got a decent... I made up that with that one because I'm, get- I'm going to pick Genie Van Alden next. Okay. And I'm made up with the balance of my team so far. Um, I had to pick Van Alden over Henderson, actually. I think Van Alden was better than Henderson. Be- but probably you- better regarded. But, uh, better- I think he's better player, but I think you needed a DM. So it depends if you're going to play Henderson there or not, but... I'm, listen, if you, I'm, I'm made up with that. We're getting Wijnaldum. I've got Fabinho and Wijnaldum and Mane and Coutinho. I think that's a 
I mean, Liverpool's team not nearly won anything. <laughs> I've, I've got that team. And bear in mind, Chris is very likely because it's Chris to either play four two three one. Or <laughs> some sort of some sort of wild yeah, three yeah. at the back. So who did you go so then? He went Genie. Genie. He's gone Genie. Yeah. Okay. Pick four. Chris. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna go. <sighs> oh, now it's the popularity vote. You see. Um, do I go for a player who I think was better, or the player who I think was the most popular? Can I guess who, what position is this? Centre back. Is it Dejan Lovren? It's Dejan Lovren is one of the players. Yeah, um, I think he was a better player than Mamadou Sakho, but I think Mamadou Sakho is more popular than Dejan Lovren. Um, so gonna press you. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna go for. Ah! Um, I mean, neither of these players particularly like being pressed. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Like, <laughs> both of them just fell over. I'm going to give the ball away. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and this is where Chris's head gets in his way. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Emre Chan. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm gonna do it. You fucking idiot. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna do it. He didn't make any of my two teams. You know, I did. The, I did this when I did the two lists. He didn't get any even. What's he doing? This is this is you've done your own head, didn't you? You've done it again. What's it? Okay. He's wearing the right. But, um, you're sorry. Just for new for newcomers to the series, Chris is a very competitive man. I think anyone who's watched Redman for a long time will know this. But there's something about this series. It's like Pep Guardiola in the yeah. final before yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you've pepped yourself again here, <laughs> okay. but carry on. That's fine. Emery Chan. Did he make yours any of your two? I think he did, but like as a Late. 10th or 11th yeah, pick. So interesting. Um, honestly, if you'd have picked Lovren, you'd have also got Sacho, because I was not going to pick Sacho ever. Okay. But I am going to pick Lovren now. Okay. I'll take Lovren. Yeah, Emery Chan was... Uh, oh, no, Emery Chan didn't get picked. I I, I accidentally picked him in a team before realising I hadn't done a goalie. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so that's Deshaun Lovren. Yeah, I'll take Lovren, mate. Um, I've got a theory on this. It'll, it'll come out later. Um, I, yeah. Emery Chan, wild. Well, you never know what the draft's going to throw up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Um, is he playing centre back? In a back today. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna, you never know. You Ooh. never know. Right, okay. Chris, pick five. Um I think I'm gonna go Simon Minnelli. He's gone for it. The big goalkeeper conversation launched. I think we're at a glance. There is only one goalkeeper choice, and that it is Simon Minnelli. I think when you delve a little deeper, I think there's more choice than that, but we'll come on to that when, if and when, Steve, well, you're going to have to decide a goalie at some point. Yeah, the, the thing with the goalie stuff is like, I, I'm basing it on how do you wear for Liverpool, I think when I'm voting. Yeah, I mean, unless unless there's someone who's not on that list, we'll, but I, I mean, I was picking goalie last now, that's, so that's fine for me. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick Mm. This very much runs to the Europa League final vibes about oh, your really? team here, Chris. It's true. <laughs> your, your team would absolutely smash the Conference League up. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for Martin Skirtle next. Okay. Yeah, that's a good pick. I'll have, Lover, I'll have Liverpool's Lover and Skirtle defence, which is a nightmare inducing at times. But I think both of them now are more fondly thought of than... Especially scale. Yeah. Like I, I went to Legends games and stuff, and I was speaking to some people. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, like, you know, like, in terms of, like ticket sales for Legends games, when they announced Martin Scale, they, they get they got a boost a couple of times. Like he's really, really well thought of. I, I think at the time when he was about to leave, everyone's heads had gone with Scale. Yeah, I think yeah, he'd yeah. done everyone's heads in. But in the passing of time, I think he's a bit more popular, and I think he's better than Saho still. I, I, so I'm happy. With, I'll take a lot from the Scale. <sighs> I think that's. I think there's three outstanding centre backs, um, and I think yeah, I think he's two. I think you've got two of the three mm. so far. Um, scale, yeah, I, I like scale. He was good. I think that thirteen fourteen season. I think the fact that he scored like seven goals that season, I think stands in people's memories rather than the times when he shit was a bit crap. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at it now, and I think I'm going to have to try and take one of the positions that I consider to be one of the weakest. 
Um, I consider right back to be one of the weakest positions, so I'm going to take Nathaniel Klein. Shout. Nathaniel Klein goes. Yeah, he is. The, he's the outstanding right back candidate. I think that's fair to say. I think he's the top, the top draft pick for right back. I think that's a very, very, very good shout. Annoyed yeah. by that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. He'd have been he went a bit, picking the best eleven. He'd have been in it. I'm trying to think. I think he went quite early. Man. Be, 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 because be of that, because of that exact reason. I'll be honest, again, it kind of helps me out no, a bit in terms of it makes me mind up a bit for me. Like it, what I don't need to do anymore. Um, but yeah. He's, okay. No good picks. Very good picks. Move on to number seven then. Um, interesting. I think I'm going to take James Milner. Jimmy Milner because he might end up playing left back but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it yeah um, but he's, uh, for now I slot him into my midfield I mean I've got a very way more like midfield Fabinho Milner Wayne Alden but Milner can play full back if I need him to because he might, he might be the best right back that's a good point so I'll, but I'll, so I'll cross that bridge when I get to it later. yeah the multifunctional ability of James Milner I saw some frantic scribbling out from you there Chris no I was just writing James Milner and his team so I can see yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> I am shocked shocked that you haven't got James Milner well I didn't want to pin myself into this like get all the formations I've had an idea for if I was going to go second what I was going to try and play um, so I'm going to try and sort of stick to that okay. um, as best I can anyway um, okay number seven I am going to go for Adam Lallana okay Adam Lallana because he can play DM nope <laughs> Because he can play on the wing. No. Nope. Centre mid, isn't he? Shall I, can I run through the team? Yeah, yeah, let me do it. I'll, I'll do it. It's fine. So, just to, first and foremost, draft pick number one for both the Mane and Firmino. Mane for Steve, Firmino for Chris. Two was Fabinho and Sturridge. Three was Coutinho and Henderson. Four was Genie and Emery Chan. Five was Lovren and Mignolet. Six was Skirtle and Klein. And seven was Milner and Lallana. So, Steve has got Mane, Fabinho, Coutinho, Genie. Lovren, Scale and Milner and Chris has got Firmino, Sturridge, Henderson, Emre Chan, Simon Mignolet, Nathaniel Klein and Adam Lallana so far. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm, let me just have a quick double check and see where, if anyone's done anything wild. Yeah, the pick f- an Emre Chan. Emery Chan is That's the wildest. Th- it's through it's through a span in my it's got in my head a little bit that. <laughs> I'm trying to think now what do you You're to? trying to work out what he's trying yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, really. like, it's basically my first pick. So I, I had like dot and dots and then I'm not getting what I thought I was gonna get kind of thing. Because I didn't think that would happen and I didn't know I will be honest, I didn't think Henderson would go at three in round three. So it's kind of I did a little bit of prep work for once one of these things because this one's going out on YouTube. I didn't want to make a complete idiot of myself. Like me. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I usually do. And yeah, yeah I'm I'm at, basically it didn't go as I thought it was going to go, so now I'm kind of scram- not scrambling around, but it, it's I'm in uncharted waters. So, the, from my reckoning, there are from my up uh, up to including round seven, my simulated draft. There's two players from that that haven't gone. No, three players that hasn't gone so far. But again, you've taken you've both taken different approaches than I than I went with them. So, very interesting to see what comes next. Okay, eighth pick, Steve. I've I need a, I need a striker. I've got one. So I'm going to pick Divock Origi. Divock Origi. To play centre forward for me. Okay. So I've got a front three of Manny, Coutinho, Origi. Again, very 15, 16 level. I've got that team. Yeah. Kind of. And it was all right. Um, so I'm all right with that one. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I needed a goal scorer because I know Chris has already got storage in Firmino. But if he could, in theory, have took Origi and put him wide, then I'd have been snookered up front. I'd have been, it'd have been like Danny Ings or I don't know. Like it'd have been, I'd have been struggling for a, a, a goal scorer. So I thought. Rather than risk that happening, I'll just take Divock now. I, I, I could have wait. I think I might have been able to wait. Sorry, because the way it's, the dash pan up. But if Chris could have just threw an absolute spider by like, leaving with no sense of form, you've lent with into the popularity vote as well with Divock because I think there might be. I think you can make strong cases for some other forwards in that in that mix. But it's Divock in it. Yeah, Divock, Chris, eight. Yeah, I think I'm in a bit of a pickle here because there's a player on here that I think. If you're not thinking about their Liverpool career, he's probably one of the top midfielders on on the entire thing. But it re- really all came after he left Liverpool. So the player that I'm sort of thinking about is Louis Alberto. Obviously, you know, he's had a great career after Liverpool. I think he was in like 
say you're our team of the year a couple of years ago. I mean, he, he really has had a brilliant career, but if we're just thinking about Liverpool, then Louis Alberto's a nothing player. Yeah, I'm, basing um, on, I'm basing it on just Liverpool. Are they play that Liverpool? Because otherwise, like, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's a bit difficult. So I'm going to try and pick... There's two left backs, and I don't think Steve would probably care whether I pick one or the other, but I'm going to go for Jose Enrique over Alberto Moreno. Okay. Um, and hoping that he might win the popularity contest. He might actually vote. He's very active. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he <actually> might, yeah. <laughs> might be watching this. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. I think that again. I think there's three, there's three left back candidates, and one of them's already being used in midfield. In the aforementioned James Milner, you got, yeah, as, as mentioned, Alberto Moreno, Enrique. I think Enrique is probably held in the higher regard of the two. Yeah. Um, I, I one of them scored a belt of a goal against Tottenham, and one laid on assist of the century for Luis Suarez against Newcastle. Um, one of them could only turn in one direction. I'm, I'm thinking now after that pick that I might put Milner at left back. Okay. Because it's I've I've, I've got a goalie. I need a goalie and two full backs, and neither of the, that those names don't inspire me really. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have the worst goalie, probably the second worst right back. I think Milner's a better left back than Enrique. Okay. So I'm gonna put Milner at left back. I'm gonna pick another midfielder. Okay. And I am gonna pick Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just... He's injured. <laughs> he's he's missing the game. Take. He's, 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 he's missing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted by Keita, but... He's injured. Yeah, that... Yeah, I mean, and, that, and, that, <laughs> that, yeah, that, 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 that is true. And also, I do believe that... <laughs> I think Keita might have been a better footballer than Oxley chamberlain I think everyone thinks that. But the pool fans... Are, don't I think Chamberlain's held in higher regards? Definitely. So I, 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 again, point, it's a, you, there's things you can point to clearly yeah. for Oxley Chamberlain over Cater. And I, I, I'll be honest, I think when I was picking the best eleven of these, Milner was the left back in my best eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm all right with that. Okay, Oxley Chamberlain ninth pick for Steve. Chris, I think I'm going to take Jaden Shakiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shakiri's a, a really, really over good show. Yeah. They, were the, they were the two you know I was doing this in my head I thought if it got to that stage where I needed one of those up front I'm going to have to pick one of the other yeah well better really yeah yeah Shakiri's well I thought it was closer than that. You, probably you can pick Benamino if you want Shakiri went in the fourth round for me he went really early really early doors um, I, I think that's weird that'd be interesting to know people watching at home if you had to pick Shakiri or Minamino just as a popularity thing, who would you who would, who would you hold in more fond regard? Because Taki obviously scored all the cup goals that got us to the two domestic cup finals. But I think my f- gut feeling is Shakiri's held. Well, he's part of Barcelona for a start. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> just about. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Though. Good pick. I like that one. Tenth, we are in the end game now. Two more picks each. Yeah, right back, isn't it? Um, I mean, again, it's not. A brilliant list. If I, you could start messing about, and I could, I could in theory, I could pick Alberto Moreno and move Milner over there, mm-hmm. or I could just pick Nico Williams as my right back. I'm trying to think who's better for who carries the least baggage. I think more people hate Moreno than I think Nico is actually quite well, quite well thought of. So I'm going to put Nico Williams in okay. at right back. I think I made the right decision there. The yeah. People just despise Alberto Moreno. Yeah, absolutely, totally agree on that one. Chris, 10th? Um, I think I'm going to go with... Colo. Colo Torre. Yep. Colo Torre, good shout. So you didn't end up going for Sacco at all? So I got one, one to go. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Steve's got... And, and, and it's either... Sorry, it's either a Ragnar Claven and Colo Torre centre-back partnership going against Mane, <laughs> Coutinho and Divock Origi or someone with a pair of legs <laughs> and Colo Torre. Um, so I think I know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I think you'd be better off going Claven, genuinely. Okay. I think, he, again, he's another one who's better high thought of since he left. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, Steve, who's your, see, go- who's your goalie? See, that's the thing, Can right? we go through? Let's go through the goalkeeper list for the people <clears throat> at home. So the, the list of goalies, Simon Mignolet, Loris Karius, Camille Grabara, Andy Lonergan, Adam Bogdan, Danny Ward, Alex Manninger, and Liam Hughes. I, I can attest I've never heard of Liam Hughes. Um, 
just to run through it, obviously Mignolet is gone, who is I think is the, the number one. He's the number one pick. I don't think there's any there's any arguments with that. <clears throat> now the problem is is that I think at a glance you presume Carrius to be number two. Um if it's Liverpool careers, because like Manninger and maybe Danny Ward, but like Danny Ward's fucking crap now. And I think that's might... crap now. He he only played about two games for yeah. us. I think you've to, got one choice. Yeah, I think if you're to, based on Liverpool careers, and you've said all show you're based yeah. on Liverpool careers. I have to go. I have to go Carrius for the good of the game, like because <laughs> no, because like, I could cheat and try and just get like one of these other shit lads in and hope that people don't vote because they don't like. Car- I think Carrius is better than all of them at Liverpool. Well, he played. None of them played, so yeah, I'm going to put Carrius in goal. I'm, I don't like it, I don't, but. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, cool. Are you, are you locking that in? Yeah. Before I give you my counterpoints on all these, because I agree. I think you know, but ultimately we're playing the game of what the eyeball test and what people look at, and then also there is the deeper data on it. I think there's nothing between Ward, Carrius, and Grabara. If I'm being perfectly honest, Did on, ever on, play for us? No, 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 he didn't play for us. But in terms of the careers, it, it, they, they're all Grabara's not had a great career. Well, Grabara's just secured a, like a 15 million move to the Bundesliga for next for next summer. He's capped by Poland. Well, he's not. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, he's, but what I mean is, he's still an active goalie, and his career's on the way up. Um, Danny Ward's got the the like thirty two or thirty three Wales caps. So he's got that going for him, he but he's played. At, he's, he's, he's playing played in the cha- he's playing in the championship though. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and he's oh, crap. Yeah, 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 exactly. And everyone can see he's crap. Got he's playing in the Premier League last season. Leicester. Absolutely, so, yeah. but yeah, but it's also a lot of carriers who cost us a Champions League final. Is yeah. the is the alternative yeah, 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 yeah. to it? Who only ever played under twenty ones footy, and I think he played one game for the under twenty under twenty ones. So there's kind of much of a muchness in the midst of it all. Danny Ward at that time when he got Huddersfield promoted, he was the hero in the playoffs and all that kind of stuff and again he's the, he's the most internationally capped goalie out of the lot but in terms of actually how many games they've played across their careers none of them have ever really nailed it and been 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 great keepers the outside shout and it wasn't for Liverpool it was Alex Manninger won the league with Arsenal won Serie A with Juventus um, he's had the most international caps he's got the most honours he was the best he's, prob- he's probably the he was he was never great at Arsenal. He's had the best career probably of all of them. Um he was the outside chance. And because he doesn't carry any baggage of people remembering being crap for Liverpool, he was my outside shelf for the yeah. for the goalie choice. Yeah, but you've gone with Loris Carius um because some people just like to watch the world burn. Um I I, I this is where it sort of comes back to now. Steve's side, I think just looking at it on paper is miles better than mine, but mine's now got a shot of winning. Because you are now, oh, because Carius, yeah, because Carius could literally just like if they in. were actually playing a game of football, yeah. Laurie's Carius could actually cost him the game, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I haven't got, the, I haven't got like a water type back center back pair either, so like for a uh, yeah. So I think I've got to, I've got to get a center half in next, um, and I think I'm going to have to go for Sacco, not just mainly because I think he's the best player left. To be yeah. honest with you, um, I don't think if Sacco and Clavin and I was a manager of a football club and I had the chance to sign either of them when they were playing at Liverpool, Sacco is better. With a £30 million pound defender. Yeah, right? he's well better than Ragnar Clavin was. So Sacco's got to go in there. Sacco me. didn't get sold because he was shit. He got sold because Klopp thought he was a knob. Yeah. You know, yeah. He, was, he wasn't great, but he... He, I think he was probably best on Lovren. One of the, the two, though, Jürgen Klopp actively didn't want it as a football club. Like, really didn't. That's what I'm saying, but I don't think that was performance wise. I think it was because he was a, thought he was a dick. Yeah. yeah for 30, like, again, you couldn't have sold Ragnar Klavan for 30 million quid at any point in his career. You know what I mean? Like, Liverpool paid decent money for Sacco. And got and, decent and money got back from. Made the profit, I think. Yeah, so. It's. I'm quite happy with the. I think my midfield and strikers. So let me run through it then. Um, have you have you tabulated your teams by the way before? Yeah, I, yeah before I've I sort of. I've got a rough lineup, but I'm just wondering whether to drop Firmino back slightly behind storage. I mean, that's going to be an interesting chat. Okay, cool. Well, you you nail in your final 11s while I talk through um, the pick. So, uh, draft pick. One, uh, Steve went for Sadio Mane, Chris went for Firmino. In round two, it was Fabinho and Sturridge. In three, it was Coutinho and Henderson. 
In four, it was Genie and Emre Chan. Uh, in five, it was Lovren and Mignolet. In six, it was Skirtle and Klein. Seven, Milner and Lalana. Eight, Origi and Enrique. Nine, Oxley Chamberlain and Shakiri. Ten, Williams and Torre. And eleven, Cadius and Sacco. So, <clears throat> the players that Steve has to pick an eleven from are Mane, Fabinho, Coutinho, Genie, Lovren, Skirtle, Milner, Origi, Oxley Chamberlain, Williams and Cadius. And Chris has Firmino, Sturbridge, Henderson, Emre Chan, Mignolet, Klein, Lana, Enrique, Shakiri, Torre, and Sacco. Stee, give us your 11. What formation are you playing? 4 3 3. 4 3 3. Spell it out for us. 4 3. That's not spelling. Uh, F O U R. This is Caddis in goal. Williams at right back, Lovren and Skater and Miller at left back. Fabinho holding with Chamberlain and Wijnaldum in front of him. Mane's playing right wing, Coutinho's playing on the left and then Divock up front. Very well balanced. It is. It it feels like a real football team, doesn't it? That might have played the game at some point, maybe. That's bitter. (laughs) I don't know. I don't think Nico will have played. Yeah, yeah, Nico's too young, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris? I think mine might have played a game. Formation? Um, <laughs> mine's got a really strong shout so I think I'm going to go 4 2 3 one, um, <laughs> just to book the trend slightly um, and I think that the you know I've gone Simon Mignolet in goal the back four picks itself in the positions Klein, Torre, Sacco Enrique mm-hmm. um, Henderson and Chan is me too um, Shakiri on the right hand side Lallana on the left hand side and Sturridge just behind uh, Firmino just behind storage, sorry. So obviously not not re- the weaknesses really are there's not a lot of pace in my side. Say, it's, it's doing love on the scale favours for me because there's zero like running behind threat. But you know, got Lalana. He's obviously a tidy footballer. Shakiri can pick a pass out. Sturridge is the one I think because Sturridge is the the goal scorer, the best goal scorer from either team. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's where it is, and obviously Manny hasn't played on the right for years. I don't know, he was <laughs> he was, he was player literally Liverpool player, player of the season, the right. top scorer of that season, but it was a long time ago, and he's pretty shit now. Uh, yeah, sad. Um, go on, Steve. How's your? T- tell me the strengths and weaknesses of your team. Um, I think the it's, hey, it's very well balanced. I love the midfield, and I love the front line. The, defensively, it's all right. But I do believe actually I've ended up with the two best centre backs, the two best wide players, and two of the three best midfielders. So I think I've done all right. I, I'll be honest, I didn't. Your picks shocked me. Like from storage onwards, I didn't. I didn't even have storage there. That's where I thought Coutinho was going to go. You know when I, was, when I was doing it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So when I so all of a sudden it was out because I was going to pick storage next. I thought I just presumed I was going to end up with Manny Fabinho. Sturridge so it, it all went apart when you took Sturridge second I was like alright okay fair enough I just presumed you'd go Coutinho so yeah. from there I was playing a completely different game than how I anticipated it might go My, I thought f- the, f- f- for me where it went a bit awry was Fabinho going so high because I would have been I'll be honest I would have been quite happy if I wanted to play 4-3-3 with Lucas in there yeah. because he was he's brilliant and I think it's a bit of disrespect that he's actually not made the side and it's on mine because I, I didn't get Fabinho yeah. but then I was looking at it I was like well if I play Lucas Lever in there and I've got Jordan Henderson and the likelihood is I've got Adam Milana there's nothing there like you know what I mean Luckily it's, it's like Henry well I, I, I think I think he was a good player to be honest with you, I think he was a really good player for us, and we'll always have the overhead kick against. He was l- listen. There's loads of things that Emery Chan did. You know how many times Liverpool fans loved Emery Chan during the years yeah, yeah. that he played for us and stuff. And so I thought there might be more people who harbour that love for him than just got bored of Lucas at the end of it. Um, and I would have been one of the only ones that loved. Lucas Lever all the way through his career there was a good five six years where people hated him mm-hmm. so that outweighs the couple of years at the end where he's throwing his body on the line because he's an older fella I see I think I, I, I as well I have to disagree I don't think Emery Chan I don't think it's been long enough that people have developed an opinion on Emery Chan a positive opinion on him I think Lucas people adore Lucas Lever he's like he become, which is mad because he was the most maligned in his career. People hated him. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I think it's weird that like the second he left, and then obviously the outpour him when he retired this year mm. of, of love and stuff. I think Lucas Lever is absolutely done. He, there was two players that I had in like the simulated draft um, that didn't get picked at all. One, one was Lucas Lever, and the other one was was Ragnar Klavan. Um, I was a little. Which centre back did you leave out? 
I went the two the, the four best centre backs got picked. Lovren, Clavan, Torre, and Sacco were the four centre backs that went in mine. So, so no scale. So no, I don't know why. That, oh no, sorry, I tell like no scale so, rather than Sacco. Sorry, Sacco Scales, didn't go. Sorry, yeah. yeah. That's an opinions thing, and you know, I think. But yeah, no, uh, there's no one left on that list. Lucas, I think Naby Keita is could have been in a team. I think Lucas could have been. Looking at you know who's left on the list, yeah. they're the only two I think, and maybe Clavan, but I don't agree with that per se. I thought Keita and Lucas might get picked. They were the only two really, yeah. and I nearly picked Keita. I was very close when I was picking between them and Chamberlain. It, it was, a, it was. A tough I think one. you made the right call. Yeah. I think. I look at it your side's well better. I'd I'd say like if the two teams are going to face off, the only chance I've got is the Carrius throws the ball into the back of the net. But equally, there is a big chance of that happening. Yeah, <laughs> and it provided all your players make it to the end of the ninety minutes. Sturridge will make it. He's got gloves with you know pockets on. Sturridge, Klein, Lalana, Shakiri. Torre, Sacco. No, for their toughness. When they're <laughs> <talking about. laughs> I mean, you think of them, the first word that I think is tough. Resilience. Resilience. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Bone China. Like- um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made some predictions that I wrote down before the, the games uh, on how you both would, would approach this. And I, I think I've, I've actually gotten them Mm. So my predictions for Chris were that he'd use Milner as a fullback. So I was shocked when that went out. When when ultimately Steve got James Milner. That's pick seven. That's a steal. Um, I predicted that Chris would get Mignolet. Yeah. I predicted that Chris would pick Balotelli just because he thought he might get more votes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said Chris would go four two three one with Shakiri. Um, and I'm astonished that we made through a show with the name Lazimarkovic being mentioned without you talking about shutting him down in American 2000 Dizzy Pens. So I've done that, do that, do that for you. Um, I thought Steve wouldn't pick Jordan Henderson, but on principle. Um, but I thought you would pick Emery Chan, which is why I was quite funny how your, your reaction to him, possibly to do with his hair or how handsome he is, though, not on his football and ability. So that's fine. That's, yeah, I, I can see why you believe that. I thought you would refuse to pick Carius. I wasn't happy with it. <laughs> and I'm also astonished that having mentioned Luis Alberto, you didn't mention Adam Morgan's story about him having a big penis. Um, I didn't think that was suitable for YouTube, but now you've just done it. There you go. Um, <laughs> and my last one was that I thought someone would pick three at the back, probably Chris, which also didn't uh, which also didn't work out. So, there wasn't uh, enough centre-offs. I had to pick the first centre-half, and I don't think I did. I think he picked Lovren as the first centre-half. Yeah, because you were picking one and then picked Emery Chan. You were about to You were pick. about to pick a centre-back and then just picked Emery Chan. I think if you'd have, if you'd have took Lover in there, I'd have been snookered. I don't think so. You'd have just, you'd have just taken Skittle or somebody else. Like yeah. the, I don't think there's that, there's actually that much between the four centre halves. No, I think you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Between Lover and Skittle, Torre and Sacco, you yeah. know what I mean. So yeah. when you went centre halves, I just decided to take like the other weaker positions. So like I think I've got by far and away the best fullbacks. Yeah. Um, the, the best goal, the, the best goalkeeper as well, and the best goal scorer. So, and that was it. Because well, well, you took the fullback, uh, the centre backs. I was like, well, I don't need to pick them. The same way with the goalkeeper, you didn't need to pick Carius until the end. So I was like, well, just stop up on. And you could have just people. picked Manninger, and it was like having a free hit of no one, it, 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 not moving the needle one way or the other. Yeah, it was the it's the, the morals of the game. I felt uncomfortable doing that. Yeah, and having failed to catch a pen in your mouth. Have you any heads? Yeah, no. Um, right. I ain't to be fair. <laughs> could, could you well, not? it was in the general direction, right? <laughs> right, okay, look, hold on. I didn't say you can... couldn't move. I we... said you've got to catch this in your mouth. <laughs> we can back and forth on this. The boys have got their opinions, but what really counts is your opinion. We're going to be listing both teams over on the community tab. I want you to go over there and lay your votes in for who you think comes out on top. You can use the comment section underneath as well. I am interested to know some of the picks on there of uh, Carius or Mignolet. Like, who would you have gone for? Lucas or Emery Charlie, who do you think would be the most popular out of, out of those two? Sacco and Lovren, did we say? Was that the other the other public opinion? Um, yeah, probably, yeah. Or like, maybe Clavan as well. Okay, cool. Great stuff. Uh, if you enjoyed the draft, there is a full series of this streaming right now on redmenplus.com in video and in podcast forms. You can go over there and fill your boots on that. Other than that, congratulations, gentlemen. A thoroughly entertaining draft. Um, May the best man win. I think Steve shot himself in the foot with Carrius, but there we go. Um, I don't, I don't like, I honestly, look at this team, I don't think it really matters. 
It's up to the public. It's up to you. You can make it happen. Go and vote, and we'll see. Storage is on the field, day though. Very soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of the LFC Draft. It is Chris Pajak against Steve Hoare. This week, it's a rest of the world 11. This time around, we're doing Liverpool FA Cup winners and Liverpool players who have had less than 50 Premier League appearances for the club. Liverpool European Cup winners. Chris Pajak. This is going to surprise everybody because he wasn't very good. <laughs> Ozan Cabot. Surely Turkey's in Europe. Uh, listen, I sent you yesterday. I gave you time to check. But you know what? Have you have Cabot. Link. He's f shit. You can have him. I like Bolo's ending. But I don't think. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to go Sadio Mane with pick oh, three. Wow, okay. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. That was the LFC draft. If you enjoyed that and you want more episodes, check out the full series streaming right now on redmenplus.com as well as a whole host of other brilliant content, interviews, features and more. redmenplus.com